This young man has a history of Meniere's disease in the right ear, which has plagued him with frequent episodes of severe vertigo since 2013. That's six years ago, and has tried numerous treatments, including dexamethasone perfusion, without any improvement. Um, he saw me a few months ago and had, uh, it was noted that he has chronic headache, and um, his headaches uh, were uh, never uh, of particular interest to any uh, of his doctors, and he had just learned to live with them. So we put you on some uh, propranolol, uh, which is generally well tolerated by young men with headache, and uh, you have, I think, have tolerated it really well and uh, had a good response to your headache. Can you tell us what your Meniere's disease was like before and uh, what has changed? Um, before, it was, it wouldn't go away. It was a headache that lasted all day. And it wasn't um, super debilitating, but it was a bit debilitating enough that I couldn't work. I didn't want to get up. Uh, it, was a, it was just this pain on the side of my head and face. Um, at the same side as, as your Meniere's disease? Yes, same side. Um, it how, made it hard to think, it made it hard to do anything. And how frequently were you having episodes of vertigo? <sighs> Almost daily, and it was bad. It, they'd last all day, or if I was lucky, only a few hours. Um, now yeah. you lost a substantial amount of hearing. The hearing on the left, fortunately, is normal, but on the right, the hearing thresholds had gone down to over, uh, down, down more than 60 decibels. That's correct and your word clarity had gone down to 70% mm -hmm. in that ear. So there was a dramatic difference between the ears. But uh, how long did it take after starting, you started the propranolol for your headaches to go away? Almost immediately. Um, I started them um, that very next morning. I noticed uh, that the headaches started to go away within hours. Um, and then I started at eight o'clock by noon, the headache is gone. And then the ringing would subsided, and it took it probably took a few days for the ringing to subside to as much as it is now. But I mean, it went from freight train to maybe just it's just a normal ringing now. It's well, your hearing improved uh, by thirty decibels, and your word discrimination is up to one hundred percent, and uh, you have stopped having headaches and episodes of vertigo. Yeah. I have to say that um, I'm delighted that your respond, you responded so well to the uh, propranolol, but uh, that is a much faster response than most people should ever respect, uh, expect from that kind of uh, medication. Sometimes mm -hmm. it takes uh, weeks or even more than a month to, um, to respond. So we're delighted for your experience and the, sharing your story of improvement in Meniere's disease by treating the underlying migraine. Uh, this suggests that for some patients, the inner ear is an innocent bystander and gets injured by migraine. And when we control the headache, then we stop injuring the ear and stop having the Meniere's type attacks. So you actually came today to have another dexamethasone perfusion in your ear, but we decided not to do it because you're so improved. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your story with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.